Hello everybody, Bruce here with a short video on how to install and configure WinSCP on Microsoft Windows. What is WinSCP? Well, WinSCP is a Windows application that allows you to send or transfer files to and from your Microsoft Windows computer to a web server. And like I said, to and from. So send your files to the web server or a web, web server and to get them back from the web server for you to make modifications uh, on. WinSCP is a free open source application. It's available for Windows only. And you'll be using WinSCP to upload your assignments to the Clark CTEC, C -T -E -C, web server uh, throughout the quarter. But you started watching this video and you're on a Macintosh computer. Well, WinSCP is for Windows computers only. Uh, we recommend that you use FileZilla uh, on your Macintosh. And there's a video uh, that you can watch installing and configuring FileZilla on Apple's OS X operating system in Canvas. So you can stop watching this video right now. Where can you get and download WinSCP? Right from this address right here, https colon forward slash forward slash winscp.net. Lastly, there's a couple things that you're going to need uh, in order to start using WinSCP. And those things are going to be uh, as follows. A host name. And the host name that you're going to be using, it's actually the address on the internet of the Clark web server. It's called ctec.clark.edu. Again, it doesn't contain the quotes and there's no HTTP or anything like that. It's just ctech.clark.edu. That's going to be the host name for WinSCP. The username is going to be the first part of your student email address. So everything to the left of the at sign. Okay. And then the next thing you're going to use is your password. And that's the password that you use to log in to computers at Clark. And if for some reason you need to reset your password, uh, uh, I provided the link on the slide here. So without further ado, let's get started downloading, installing, and configuring WinSCP. So I'm in Microsoft Windows, Windows 10 here, and you can see that I'm at winsep.net. And that's actually the address I typed in, winsep.net. It's the same page. So now you can see here it says download now on the WinSCP page. So let's click on that. And now it brings you to this other page. And don't be fooled by these ads. See, it says advertisement, advertisement. What we want to do is scroll down here where it says download WinSCP. Uh, and it says version 5.15.4. If you're watching this video in the future and this version number has changed, uh, which it does periodically, then download that version. So I'm going to click on the download link and my download will start and you'll see it in the lower left hand corner here where my mouse pointer is. Now that it's downloaded, there it is. I'm going to click on it, just one click. I'm going to minimize the Google Chrome web browser and now it says WinSCP installer and I'm going to click on the Yes button. So it's telling me a few things here, and I'm going to scroll through and carefully read this and make sure I agree with it. I've read it a lot of times, and I have no problem. You can see it's a long thing, but I, I really suggest that you read end user uh, license agreements and terms of use. You may be surprised. So I'm going to accept uh, the um, agreement. I'm going to click on the Accept button in the lower right corner. And I'm going to choose the typical installation, the typical installation. And I'm also going to click on the commander. 
um, user interface, not the Explorer, the Commander user interface. I'm going to click on Next and then click on Install. And now it takes a second to install and it says completed the WinSEP setup. So let's click on Finish. And now it's going to launch uh, uh, relaunch Google Chrome. I'm going to close that because we don't need that right now. And it's also launched WinSCP. I had to bring it back up here. I don't know why it um, didn't come to the forefront, but here you can see we're configuring a new site. Okay, And it wants the host name. And I'm going to type in CTEC. Remember that host name from earlier in the video? .clark.edu. The port number I'm going to leave is 22 because we are using what is called SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol. My username happens to be Belgort without any dots. Your username as a student will contain a dot after your first initial. And then I'm going to type in my super secret password. Hopefully I'll get it right. And then I'll click on uh, open down here. I mean, login, excuse me, login. And now it says, hey, continue connecting to an unknown server and add, uh, and add its root key to a cache. I'm going to click on yes. You want to do the same. And now it tries to connect. It wants me to continue. It says never show this banner again. That's up to you. Click on continue. And look at this. On the left hand side here, I have uh, my folders on my computer. And on the right hand side here, I see the content of the CTEC, that's CTEC web server. And let me tell you one thing. On the right side here, you never want to store files and folder or create folders outside of this public HTML folder. What you want to do is double click into that folder. Yours will be empty or you may have taken some other classes where you've used this server before. But you can see here I have a list of folders and files. This is the place where you're going we where you are going to be creating folders, moving files, pictures, uh, images, CSS files, etc. All right. So again, the left hand side is your computer. The right hand side is the CTEC web server. All right. So one last thing that I want to show you is how to save your WinSCP configuration so you don't have to type in information over and over again. So I'm just going to relaunch WinSCP and it there it is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the host name again, ctech.clark.edu, the port number 22, the username, your username, and your super secret password. And then you can click on save. And I'm going to click on save here. I'm going to say uh, site name. I'm going to type in ctech just like that. And you can save your password, uh, not recommended. But uh, like I said, you, you can do that. You can actually create a desktop shortcut as well. That's up to you. So I'm going to click on OK. And I'll click on Login. And click on Continue. Ah, it wants my password, right? I'm, either I typed it wrong or it just asked for it again. I forgot. And there it is. OK. So now if I close WinSCP, and I relaunch WinSCP. Okay, you'll see here that it remembers that configuration. And it's, if I click on login, remember I told it not to remember my password. And I type in my password again. There it is, I'm logged in. I hope this video has helped. And if you have any questions, please let me know by contacting me on Slack. Have a great day.